everybody. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. My name is Andrew and welcome to Sprinkle Money. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that stuff. Today we are going to have a look at Fortescue Metals Group Limited, FMG. Uh, before I go on, if I say anything about giving advice or whatever, it just, just, I don't know what I'm doing. This is just me talking about Fortescue and with my dodgy research and uh, let's just leave it at that. If you are going to buy Fortescue Metals or any other share that I talk about on this channel then just um, please do your own due diligence, go see a financial advisor, you know what to do. All right, let's go. So FMG is a iron ore miner. I somehow, I don't know how it's happened, but I've somehow ended up with a whole bunch of iron ore miners. Um, I've got uh, Grange Resources and, and now I've got F um, Fortescue as well. A big chunk of my portfolio is now in iron ore. And I guess uh, the more I think about that, Australian stock market is just filled with miners and uh, we're very fortunate to have uh, lots of iron ore reserves here in Australia especially in the Pilbara and Fortescue is the miner, one of the big miners that takes advantage of that and is obviously on the ASX. All right, so they are involved in the production and exploration um, of um, iron ore in the Pilbara, but I did um, dwell a little bit deeper into their um, reports and stuff like that. And I did find that they are obviously also involved on a global level. All right, let's go through some of the fundamentals here. So what have we got? So a bit of a disclosure. I have approximately $8,000 worth of Fortescue in my portfolio. It is currently the fifth highest um, holding that I have. And um, if you have a look at the sprinkle money strategy that um, this channel is named after, you'll see that I have been purchasing Fortescue when it's been in the in positions one and two in terms of the overall um, uh, profit that I'm making on the actual share price. Um, so I have ended up um, buying it a couple of times now and I'm now at $8,000. In fact, this is the last one you can see on the very bottom here. It's the last uh, share that I purchased today <laughs> and it was another thousand dollars worth and it actually went from having been up 11.17 percent I bought another thousand dollars worth at the current price and it's now on net up 10.23 percent all right so it's a dollar cost averaging doing its thing at the top end of the 30 stocks that I'm following all right so why did I pick Fortescue and why do I believe it's a good company to um, for my portfolio? Well, first and foremost, it has, it's been paying a really good dividend. Uh, and uh, just recently, it has paid out an 11%, um, like it's got 11% div yield. It's pretty good. Actually, very good, isn't it? Um, let's hope it continues along that path. But not only that, the um, the div yield, it's 100% franked. So 100% franking so far, every time they've paid a dividend, it's been franked. Pleasingly, they offer a DRP. Thank you, Fortescue. Uh, so there's a dividend reinvestment plan in place, which means that the dividends get automatically converted back into stocks for Fortescue. So more Fortescue stocks. All right, so those three things together are going to be, so the fact that they pay a decent um, dividend, they are franked and they do a DRP. Tick, 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 tick. Awesome. Great, uh, cannot complain at all, and uh, it's a no-brainer for adding it to the portfolio. 2019 was a really good year for Fortescue. It was the coming of age for the company, and pretty much uh, it, it was the one that it cemented that they're gonna be staying around and that they are a, a blue tube that's here to stay. Um, so I, I, I have very little reservation in, in holding uh, Fortescue for a long period because they have definitely jumped up into that um, that that sort of you know positive sentiment that the ASX um, traders are looking for. So it was a pivotal point for for Tesku becoming a blue chip favorite. I pop up on the financials. You can see the numbers from 2019 did pop up. Um, they you know they everything's up in in a way. Now there has been a little bit of pullback in 2022, but if you then delve into the uh, presentations, the um, annual presentations that they put out, you can then see that 2023 promises to be another good year. So hopefully those dividend yields are going to be maintained. 
obviously past performance is not an indicator, but we're looking, I think, quite positive, especially considering that since 20, 2019, it's been maintained at a high level. So it's gonna be high-ish regardless, I think. Um, but you never know, you never know. <laughs> What's the long-term prospects for Fortescue? Well, if you have a look again at their presentation, and this is this is a, kind of like a, a lot of backstory to these presentation materials, you can see that Andrew Forrester is everywhere, right? He's, he's, um, try, he's, he's you know, shaking hands with the King and the Prime Minister of the UK, and he's like over somewhere, like, um, where was he? Oh, with, um, he's in Ukraine, <laughs> shaking hands with the, uh, the prime minister there like he's just is a celebrity isn't he a little mini celebrity andrew um so now that's that's great um but what is it that does point to is that he is a very influential worldwide figure he's starting to become a very known worldwide figure and in the presentation themselves you can see that they are gearing up towards the whole going green uh, uh, sort of, you know, being environmentally sustainable and becoming a better company in terms of the outcomes for the environment, uh, Fortescue is on the right track. And apparently they've priced in the already, which is amazing if, they, if it's actually true, they've priced in their transition to um, the green economy, okay? So uh, for a miner, that's, that's really forward um, thinking, progressive sort of strategy. And by 2030, um, is when they're hoping to fully have like implement their strategy. Now, I will say as a bit of a cautionary note, if you look at that graph, there's a graph on one of the presentation pages. It's very, very shallow and then all of a sudden it goes up. And I think we've sort of seen that stuff before, but let's, if it's actually priced in for, for reals, then you can see that over the next five, six years, the, the environmental uh, element of Fortescue is going to kick in really strong. Now, I, that means that the company is either it's going to go two ways. Either the company is going to really struggle to meet that demand, meet that sort of goals and objectives of being environmentally sustainable, or the public is going to go, "Oh, this is amazing! We finally have a miner that's really progressive and um, doing great things for the planet. Let's support the company, and then the share price will continue to rise." Obviously, you've got no idea. It could go either way. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens in the next few years. All right, everybody, that's about it for Fortescue. I just thought I'd share my thoughts about uh, why it's in my uh, portfolio. Um, like I said, it's about the fifth or sixth holding. It is climbing, 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 because at the moment, uh, the price is going well, and I keep supporting this particular stock. Um, if you're interested in my 30 stocks that I'm supporting, have a look at the link below. So apart from that, let me know. Are you interested in Fortescue? Do you hold stocks in Fortescue? Are you as bullish as I am on this, uh, one of the largest companies in Australia? Are you looking to maybe buy some and have got some other things that I haven't quite found out in my research that you want to share with everybody? Well, please write them below, that'd be awesome. All right, thanks everyone. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.